Welcome to Sensei. What we want to do for this video is we're going to take our DeepMind 12 and we're going to start with a preset sound that we like and we're going to override it with another sound. Um, so for example, take this P bass sound. So it's a great sound, um, but I'd like to have it be more of a synthy bass sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, take this, I'm going to hit right, and it's we're going to go ahead and replace a default patch. So right now I'm on bank A115, and I want to, so it's going to be replaced by this sound, so I want to change this one um, to 16. Now, obviously this goes without saying, it's a good idea to always back up your patches, everything before you start messing with stuff. Easy to override something by accident. Don't blame me, please. <laughs> so, back up your patches first. All right, so, again, I wanna write to this one and it'll be replaced by this one. So I'm gonna hit write. All right, so now, this has the same P bass sound that we had on 115, all right? So this is the one I'm gonna tweak. All right, so um, pretty much just gonna go ahead and start playing around with some of the envelopes, uh, probably the uh, resonant frequency and some other parameters to get just dial into taste. So, so this has a very short, quick uh, attack and it drops off as you can tell by here. So one of the things I wanna give it a little bit more sustain on that. So, so you can tell right now just by the start here's the other sound here's this new one a lot more uh, sustain um, all right, so we're just going to continue along that path and keep playing around with it until we get a tone we like. You can play with the curves over here, and we can go with different ones. So let's see. I'm already liking that. I'm gonna compare it. All right, so if we wanna go ahead and save that, then we can just go ahead and override it, give it a new name. So in this case, I'm gonna tell it, uh, it's gonna basically be replaced by this one. So I'm going to go ahead and give this the set, the name that I want. And let's see. I 
I'm gonna make this, uh, just call it version two. All right, we'll go ahead and write that. And we can compare the two. So here's our original. And then here's our new one. The nice thing with this kind of method is um, I could go ahead and further tweak this and simply overwrite it as a new patch and do little until I find another tone I like. Uh, I won't go through it right now, but let's just say I want to play around with this a little bit. compare that all right so if I wanted to save that I would just write it and put in a new patch name um, and obviously you might want to over uh, adjust your overall levels so that you get the you know relatively even uh, overall volume between the patches depending on uh, you know what the sound is and what you'd like to do So there you go. Nice, quick, short lesson for you. Sensei out.